You know, when the whole Pride jersey saga ended, I made this video. And while I do stand by my thoughts I made about supporting the message the club was fighting for, you can f*** that right off. Because since then, Manly has not won a single game. In fact, we were lucky we were so good during the Origin period because otherwise, we could have been sitting with the West Tigers. And somehow, after the season, the club has gotten in even worse shape and apparently the club is looking to bring Anthony Seabolt back. What the f***? But guys and gals, before we get any more into the video, please smash that like button if you enjoy it. Comment your thoughts down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It is completely free and you can always unsubscribe later. So just smash that button right now. But let's get straight back into the video. So here is what we know so far. Des Hasler failed to make the top six mainly because of the bloody pride jersey which was the board's fault which has meant his contract for 2024 was not triggered therefore mr hasler will enter the 2023 season with it being the final year of his contract but the club has no intention of re-signing des and in fact want him to have less power have sacked his assistants want to put a succession plan in, and by the looks of it, would rather Hasler just leave immediately. And I have one question. Who on earth is there to replace Dez? There have been three rumoured. Jason Riles of Roosters Assistant fame, Josh Hanno of the two-time interim coach and Queensland Origin staff fame, and Anthony Seabolt of Manly Assistant, Rabbitohs Coach of the Year, and the Broncos Destroyer fame, with the greatest respect. Now, while I would sit here and discuss these three coaches who have nowhere near the resume of Mr. Hasler, the big question is, why on earth do we not want Des anymore? Because I tell you right now, there are at least 10 other clubs who would bend over for Des and we want to let him go. If you thought he was not doing a very good job, then how come we didn't go after Cameron Serrato, Shane Flanagan? I love Manly, but I got a question because you made this dude being Des answer for your stuff up with the jersey and now you don't have any faith in him because you stuffed up. Look, I obviously don't know the inner workings of the club, but there seems to be a big power struggle between Des, the owner Scott Penn, and the Fulton family. Now, all I know is that Des has won premierships as a player and a coach. Meanwhile, Penn became owner in 2014, and unfortunately, that was the final year of Manly's golden era. And unfortunately for the Fulton family and of course the whole world, Bob is no longer with us, God rest his soul. And I don't know why the rest of you are wanting power in the joint. Obviously there's more to this that I don't know. I'm just trying to read from the outside what's going on inside because of the media. Unfortunately though, I don't think that Des is staying here past 2023 because now he is planning to sue the damn club over the Pride jersey. Has Des been perfect? Of course not. There have been plenty of decisions Dead has made in regards to teams and recruitment over the past few seasons that I do not agree with. But the man has won our last two premiers, which, which unfortunately were over a decade now. So where do we go from here? Well, in all seriousness though, I don't want to diss Seabolt. Was he bad at the Broncos? Duh. But he was great at the Rabbitohs in his first year. And without him, maybe the Rabbitohs don't become the club they are today. I mean, look at Cookie. He's never reached the heights of the club form he played under Seabolt. Look, if he was to get the job, I would back him 100%. But why is this even a conversation? Manly finished top four in 2021 thanks to the greatest individual season of all time, an origin half at the top of his form, and a young gun who entered rep conversations with a record-breaking points year. And then this year, he manages to guess in the top eight without ever having our best 17 on the field once this year, and that player had the best season ever was out since round 10. You screwed him over, made him face the media for it, and now you want to let him go? Of course there's more to this that we'll never know. I'm going to back my club forever, but right now, to you, Mr. Scott Ben. Dumb move, bro. If it was up to me, re-sign Des for as long as he wants, or until we go real shit, and then put a succession plan in, but if he is gone, which it looks like he is, this is what my ranking would be. Number one, 
the GOAT, Jeff Toovey. Obviously, that's not happening. Number two, Jason Riles. Number three, Shane Flanagan. Number four, Josh Hanno. And number five, with the greatest respect, Anthony Seabold. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, smash that like button if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And comment your thoughts below about the entire Manly situation. I'll see you guys in the next one. But God, God help this club at the moment. Because I have no idea what's going to happen. And it's going to get a lot uglier before it gets better. I just hope all the players stay. Damn, Manly. It's hard to be a supporter of you over the past few months.